to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. Today I have a kick butt meal prep for you. We have three absolutely amazing recipes, breakfast, lunch, and a copycat from one of my favorite restaurants and my favorite thing to order, recipe for dessert for you. So we have a video packed with three delicious recipes. If you're new, make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. I do a meal prep every Monday so you don't wanna miss out. Also make sure you're checking out that description box right down below so you can check out my coaching website where I offer macro and calorie calculation as well as how to kind of figure that into your points every day, one-on-one -on -one coaching and group coaching. There's a little bit of something for everyone and taking advantage of nutrition coaching is so important. So check out my website. Also, you'll find links and discount codes to all my favorite things, including a lot of the items that I shared with you today. And of course, the link to head over and join me on Facebook. We'd love to have you be part of that amazing community over there. It's free to join. It's super supportive. So head over and join us there. Thumbs up this video if you love meal preps. And let's jump in because we have some cooking to do. this week I'm going to be making a breakfast hash I'm excited for this because it's comfort food it's potatoes and eggs and bacon and all the good things so let me show you what's in this week's breakfast first you're going to need some minced garlic roasted red bell peppers oil this is just the chosen foods avocado oil you'll also need some eggs some seasoning some parsley you could use fresh as well or dried paprika I'm adding a little bit of salt and pepper an onion, one pound of potatoes. This is a one and a half pound bag, so I'm just gonna measure out on my food scale one pound. And then you're also going to need some bacon. So I'm using this Coleman Natural Uncured Bacon. It's amazing. I get this bacon from Imperfect Foods, and there is a link down below for Imperfect Foods that gets you $10 worth of free products with no minimum order. So you're helping with food waste, and they have amazing prices, so definitely check them out. So let's make some breakfast hash. I have one pound of the potatoes measured out here on my food scale, so there's still quite a few left. We'll just pop these in the fridge for later, but what I'm going to do is just dice these in half just to help them cook a little bit faster. I have my oven preheating to 390, and then let's get these on a sheet pan, season them up, get these in the oven since they take the longest to cook. Remember when you told me you believe in something and you say you're done pretending that fate is patient. Go run away, get it out of your system. Come back when you're older. Go so I'm going to go ahead and slice up some bacon the onion, and I'm going to slice a little bit smaller the roasted red peppers. These are all going to go in a pan on the stove to kind of fry up and cook while the potatoes are in the oven. Go run away, get it out of your system. Come back when you're older. Go find a place where you can't be the victim. And come back. So here is the bacon, the onions, and the red bell peppers. I'm just going to add them to a pan. The fat from the bacon will sub in place of any added oil and help cook those down. So we're gonna let these kind of fry up while our potatoes are cooking. So I just pulled the potatoes out. They are almost all the way cooked through. They are going to continue to cook once we add them here to the hash mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop in the potatoes. We'll scoot it all aside and throw in the eggs and mix it all together with some seasoning and we have breakfast hash. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. 
So I moved the hash to one side of the pan and I'm gonna go ahead and pop in my four eggs. Now you can scramble these completely. You can just let the egg whites cook through and not the yolk, but because I am meal prepping, I'm going to let the eggs cook fully. Now, if you were just going to eat this as a breakfast immediately, I would probably leave the yolk a little runny because this is best paired on some sourdough bread, like avocado toast. I'm gonna eat it by itself. I may pop it on some bread during the week. We'll see. But for me, because I'm meal prepping, I'm just gonna go ahead and scramble up my eggs because there's no point in leaving it runny because when I go to reheat it, it's just going to get cooked through anyway. So I'm gonna let these eggs cook just a little bit and then I'll stir it in to the rest of the hash. And here's our hash. Doesn't this look amazing? The eggs are mixed in. It smells so delicious. So this entire pan makes four servings. So I'm gonna get this packaged up into meal prep containers. I'm gonna serve this with some fruit and I'll be back to show you breakfast, give you points and calories. Breakfast hash is done. This looks so good. So this again made four servings. So this is quite a lot. It fills up the large compartment of my meal prep container. We've got bacon, potatoes, eggs, peppers. It's going to be absolutely delicious. It smells incredible. So one serving or one fourth of the recipe is five smart points on the blue plan, seven on green because you do have to account for the one egg per serving and only two points on purple because potatoes are zero. So really low point breakfast, absolutely delicious. I'll have the calories on the screen as well, but this is what I'm going to have with some organic grapes and blueberries from Imperfect Foods and this is breakfast and it looks incredible. For lunch this week, I'm making quinoa casserole. It's fall and I am ready for some comfort food and I love quinoa. This is full of a lot of my favorite things. My husband isn't a fan of quinoa so I like to make it for lunch for me and this bowl is not going to disappoint. So let me show you what's in our quinoa casserole. First you'll need quinoa. This is from Imperfect Foods. This is organic royal white quinoa. Again Imperfect Foods is linked down below with $10 worth of free groceries when you join. Help eliminate food waste. It's such an amazing company and they have no minimum order. So go ahead and grab your $10 worth of free product and then I have some minced garlic the recipe calls for veggie broth but I have beef broth and it's just a small amount I'm just going to use this instead of buying another product and this is already open in my refrigerator nutritional yeast you'll need some pepper and some onion powder the recipe calls for stone ground mustard I don't have any so I'm just gonna sub this spicy brown mustard black beans and corn and then instead of chopping up a carrot i have these shredded carrots in my refrigerator i'm just going to use these save a step make it easy speaking of easy it calls for 12 ounces of butternut squash i like to buy the packaged fresh butternut squash from trader joe's it just doesn't last very long so i decided this time to just go ahead and grab this organic already cut up steam in the bag butternut squash from walmart this is 10 ounces, which is close enough, and this is going to make my life so easy. I don't have to cut it up. It doesn't go bad. It's frozen, and you can just pop it out when you're ready to use it, so I'm gonna do that. We need a red bell pepper, so I just am going to pull the red out of here, and then a sweet potato. Now, it calls for a small sweet potato. This is huge, so I'm probably only going to use half of this sweet potato. I will weigh it out to make sure that it falls in the right amount of grams for a small sweet potato calculation for points. So. That is what is in our casserole. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and cook our quinoa. So I like to cook my quinoa in broth just for some added flavor. So this is one and a half cups of that beef broth that I pulled out for the recipe. And then I'm just going to add one cup of dry quinoa. And we're just going to cook this per the package instructions. I stir it up. When it comes to a boil, I reduce the heat, pop a lid on, and you just cook it until your quinoa is nice and fluffy. My quinoa is just gonna sit here and cook and get nice and fluffy. So to a saucepan, now you could use a double broiler, you could do really whatever you want. I have added that bag of butternut squash, half of that sweet potato, a big huge handful of shredded carrots, and a big scoop of garlic. I'm going to let this just cook down until they're softened. Everything has to be nice and soft because we're gonna pop this in a blender and make a puree out of it. So I just pulled off the stove all of the potato and carrot mixture. It's nice and soft. We are going to add a few more ingredients here to our blender. 
before we blend it up. We need to add two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, which is basically vegan Parmesan, so it's a cheesy flavored, really good for you powder, lots of health benefits. So we did two tablespoons of that. We're also going to do two tablespoons of the beef broth or veggie broth, if that's what you end up using in yours. So I'm just using the same tablespoon. I just did the powder first. So there's two tablespoons of that. We're going to add in the spicy brown mustard or stone ground mustard, whatever you have. We want about a teaspoon. I'm just going to eyeball that. And then I'm going to add in the onion powder. Again, just going to eyeball. I'm going to put in about a teaspoon and a half and then a pinch of salt. And we're gonna blend this up and this makes the sauce for our casserole. So into my large bowl here, I have my drained and rinsed can of black beans and my cooked quinoa. So we are going to mix everything here in a large bowl before it goes into a baking dish and into the oven. So black beans and quinoa, look at how amazing this sauce looks. Nice, clean ingredients. We made it from scratch, but it was super simple, especially saving those steps of having to cut up the butternut squash. That freezer butternut squash is a lifesaver. So I went ahead and added all the sauce. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells so sweet. So there is the sauce. We're going to add in one can of corn. And lastly, we are going to add the red bell pepper. I did go ahead and dice that up. It is still raw. It'll cook while it's in the oven. Stir that together. And this is the base of the casserole. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my oven safe dish, preheat my oven, and let's get this cooked so we can have some lunch. This looks so fall, so much fall vibes happening. Look at how delicious this looks. It smells so good. Again, lots of fall, which makes me really excited. So I have a six by nine baking dish. I'm just going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. I just wanna make sure nothing sticks, all of the goodness sticks to it. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the casserole mix. I have my oven preheating to 375, and we're just gonna let this cook until it's warmed through, kind of crispy on top. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so filling and delicious. And talk about clean, whole food that tastes amazing. This is the way to do it. If you wanna eat a clean diet on WW or just in your diet in general, this is the way to do it and feel satisfied. We're going to have the sweetness of the corn, sweet and savory, very fall-like. It's just a really good way to go for healthy, clean food. So I am going to pop this in the oven at 375 for about a half of an hour or until it's cooked through. Quinoa casserole is out of the oven. This looks so delicious. I'm going to let this cool and rest here for about 10 minutes or so just before I cut into it. It makes six servings. I'll pop it in a bowl, a meal prep bowl, just because I'm not sure what I'm going to pair with this. Probably just some fruit, maybe another veggie. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it in a single bowl so that I can decide what I want each day with it. But this looks amazing. And I'll be back to show you the completed casserole, give you points and calories. And here is lunch. Let me just tell you, I set aside a slice to have for lunch today. It is amazing. It is so good. It is the perfect combination of sweet and savory. You get the sweet from the corn. It has fantastic texture from the quinoa. This is a very, very healthy yet filling and delicious lunch. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for this all week. So let's go over points. I will put calories on the screen here as well. So the recipe makes eight servings the way that I went ahead and cut it. And that is going to be three smart points on the blue plan, zero on purple because everything in this recipe is zero points on the purple plan. And it is only six smart points on green. Now, if you wanted a little bit larger slice, you could go ahead and cut it into six servings. And I will put the points here on the screen for that and the calories, just in case you decide that you want a little bit bigger serving for lunch, because it is so incredibly low point, especially on blue and purple. But this is our quinoa casserole. Can't wait. For a dessert tonight, we are making copycat Cracker Barrel Fried Apples, point-friendly, calorie-friendly, good 
clean ingredients. I can't wait for this. This is one of my favorite things at the Cracker Barrel and they are really high in points and calories. So we're going to make them fit into a healthy lifestyle a little bit better. They're pretty simple to make. Let me show you what is in our recipe. First you'll need some tart apples. I have Granny Smith here. I would recommend six medium apples. I'm using eight because these are very, very small apples. So make sure you do pick up a tart apple to your choosing. You'll need some brown sugar alternative. I'm gonna do the Sucrin Gold. You guys know this is my favorite. I buy this off of Nettrition. I'll link Nettrition down below. That is the same website that I buy my Fiber Gourmet Pasta, which is the love of my life. So I do order from that website pretty regularly and this is on there at a great price. You'll also need some lemon juice. You can use lemon juice like this or fresh lemon, whatever your preference. Some salt and some cinnamon, just some ground cinnamon. Now the recipe calls for nutmeg, but I'm gonna substitute my favorite seasoning pretty much ever, and it is perfect season for this. This is the Dax Pumpkin Spice. You guys know my love for Dax. No salt, no MSG, 100% clean ingredients, very, very minimal ingredients. The pumpkin spice is my favorite. It has honey in it, and that is what makes this spice so incredible. It is zero points, zero calories. Again, clean, clean ingredients. And if you watch your salt or before weigh-in, their spices are great just because it's not going to affect your weigh-in by giving you that extra salt. So this is cinnamon, spices, and honey. It's amazing. I'm not joking when I say this is the best pumpkin seasoning ever. They have over 20 seasonings at Dax. So check them out. I do have a code down below for 10% and free shipping. 10% off, I should say, and free shipping. Check them out. There is also a list over on my Facebook group of all of my favorite spices from Dax if you're interested in knowing what I buy. But pretty much, honestly, I have them all. Love Dax. So it's pumpkin spice is my go-to. So we're going to add a little bit of that in place of just plain nutmeg. Let's make some copycat fried apples. So the first thing we're going to do is dice our apples. Now you have a preference when making this recipe to peel or not peel your apples. I am not going to peel mine because I actually don't mind the peel and it saves a step. Now feel free to peel them. We are obviously going to core them and dice them up. I'm going to put them here in a bowl so that we can add them directly to our pan. So for our fried apples, I have a pan here warming up on the stove. What I sprayed was this ghee spray oil from Thrive Market. This stuff is pretty awesome. It does give it a little bit of a buttery flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this warm up. Here are my chopped up apples. And then we're also going to add the lemon juice. And we're starting, we're starting the copycat fried apples from Cracker Barrel. I went ahead and added my apples. Now I'm going to put about a teaspoon of lemon juice right over the top. And then we're going to add some salt because salt does actually help enhance the sweetness. So we're going to put just a pinch of salt and one quarter cup of the sucrine brown sugar. And then we're gonna let these fry up on the stove. This looks so good already with that brown sugar. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pop a lid on it. We're gonna let it cook down for about 15 minutes and then we'll sprinkle on some cinnamon and the Dax pumpkin spice. These look so good. They smell absolutely amazing. They are done. You can see that they're nice and soft. So there is a little bit of liquid in the bottom which is exactly what we want because once we season these up with the cinnamon and Dax pumpkin spice, it'll become thicker, like a paste between the apples and really have that copycat vibe. So let's add some cinnamon and some pumpkin spice. So here are our copycat fried apples. These look so good. They smell amazing. I definitely taste the butter from that ghee spray. Now that ghee spray has calories. So the amount that I used in the recipe is one smart point. So the entire recipe, I used one point worth of that spray ghee or that Pam spray. I probably wouldn't even bother counting it. It's not going to affect the points in this anyways, because guess what you guys? Our copycat fried apples are zero points. Zero points on all 
plans and we can have Cracker Barrel fried apples for zero smart points. This makes eight servings. You will want to, of course, watch your calories if you're counting calories. Those will be on the screen for you. But zero smart point fried apples. Can't wait to have this for dessert. You could top it with some whipped cream, some vanilla ice cream. It would be amazing. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. These will all be on my recipe website, which is www.jenswwjourney.com. That will be down in the description box below, as well as my nutrition coaching website, links and discount codes to the products that I shared with you today, as well as all of my favorite things, and the link again to head over and join me on Facebook. We'd love to have you come join us over there. If you're new, subscribe, turn your bell on so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I do upload most days of the week and we do meal prep every Monday, so don't miss out on that. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed and you can't wait to recreate these recipes for yourself. Have a fabulous Monday and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.